so good. Anything else you want to talk about 2K related? Oh, I'm super excited for the new game. I love the covers. Uh, I love that like D-Book has his shoe, like kind of like the focal point in it. And it says be legendary. And I think he's a legend, just signed like a crazy extension. I love like the women's cover. love the Michael Jordan cover. You might see some circulate in the new game. Um, super excited for that. And, and yeah, like shout out to the whole 2K family. And thank you for always having me be a part. What's up, guys? We're here with Sunil, and we are talking NBA 2K23. You recently got it. A... 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. We welcome you from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Charlotte Hornets against the Toronto Raptors at Scotia Bank Arena. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, and the fourth member of our crew, reporter Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Thanks, Brian. Well, current financial challenges have Commissioner Silver and the league office dusting off proposals for expansion. Silver said at some point, it's manifest destiny that the league will eventually expand. The last time that happened was 1988 with the Bobcats. Guys, Seattle fans hopeful things move along. Boy, Ali, wouldn't that be something? And as we continue through January, here are the latest power rankings. You look at Charlotte, they slipped a bit. Still in the top ten, though. I think for Toronto, they really came out swinging this year, putting to rest all of the doubts about their abilities. Now we'll see if they can maintain that energy. And now let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Charlotte Hornets. Ball and Rozier work together in the backcourt. Taylor Horton Tucker is out there with Otto Porter. And it's Jones in at the center position, locking down the middle. And for Toronto, they've got Gary Trent. Barnes is out there with Sadiq Bey. And it's Najee in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, here we are in mid-season now, Grant. How do players mentally cope with the grind of an NBA season? You know, that's a good question, B.A. I mean, you have to find ways to take your mind off of things as a team. Having outlets helps distract you. It's so important for players as they endure the lengthy season. Here's Rozier. Let's it go. Second chance effort. No good that time. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. They want to keep rolling here following the win against Atlanta. And I'll tell you, that was not an easy environment to play in. It was a hostile crowd on the road, but it didn't bother them at all. Well, the best way to silence a crowd is with your offensive game. Those fans got quiet in a hurry when the bucket started raining down. The refs calling it close already as he picks up a quick early foul. First team foul. Outside Jones to the paint. Outside to Rozier. Shot clock at five. The 11-footer. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Pounded by Ball. He takes it in. Ball with the rebound. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Porter, the pass to Rozier. Ball right side. There's the triple. Jones. It's good on the putback. And finally, a made shot. They look a little relieved after that one. Outside Barnes. Just over a minute and a half in. Now here's Bay. The D's right on him. Unable to get that one. 
Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Rozier, the pass to Ball. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And you think about the draft profile of LaMelo Ball. Grant, the court vision has been as good as advertised. I mean, he's just a gifted passer who sees over defenders. He enjoys making those flashy plays. He's been everything you want from a playmaker. First quarter, just about two minutes in. The Raptors have gone one of three from the floor. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Here's Najee, pounded by Rozier. Trent right side, six on the shot clock. And again, Toronto, no good. The Hornets have gone two of six from the floor. Ball outside. Pass to Horton Tucker. Rozier with it. Ball with it. A guy this team turns too often. Averaging almost 24 a game. Deflected! Here's Najee. Pounded by Rozier. Oh, hey! How about that? And he jams it home with authority. Woo! When you finish like that, you deserve to brag. <laughs> Impressive. No question. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim, okay? I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Now here's Barnes. Jones with the block. And he recovers it. And, yep, it's good. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Rozier outside. Pass the ball. Clock at 6. Here's Jones. And he takes that one up and powers it through. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave no doubt. Now here's Jones giving this team some energy. Averaging a little over 10 points a game. Hey, hey, it out. It out. Now here's Ball. He's covered closely. He goes up high for the two-handed slam. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Now here's Trent. Against Atlanta, he was really on his game. The Hornets pull it in. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Ball outside. Three-pointer Rozier. Knocks down the triple. An improved shooter from downtown. Rozier has been consistent in adding this to this game over the years. Inside. Here's Trent. Oh, the offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Pass to Rozier. Driving in. Now Porter. Now here's Ball. Here's Horton Tucker. Three-pointer, no good. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Toronto. At the line for two. Shoot two. The first free throw is good. And some changes here for the Raptors. 
Valanchunas, he's checked in for Najee. Adenobi comes in for Barnes. And Hart subbed in for Trent. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Pass to Jones. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his first foul. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. And how about the mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And this is exactly why he's out here. In order to block shots in tight games like this. And the Hornets with possession here. Four-point game. Schroeder finds Oubre. And here's Schroeder. Five on the clock. Pass to Jones. Well, there's just defensive chops by OG Ananobi. He says, I've got length, athletic ability, and a willingness to contest. Back to Valanchunas. Shoots over Schroeder. Valanchunas, good. Looked like some confusion defensively that time. Left him wide open for a nice look on the jumper. Pass to Oubre. Thompson outside. Drains the triple. And the Hornets lead by five. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Hart passes to Valanchunas. Back to Hart. To the middle. And the dunk by Valanchunas. Well, to steal a line from you up high and down hard, Jonas Valanchunas. Go ahead, big fella. Pass to Jones. Oubre against Bay. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. See, Kelly Oubre understands how to take advantage of his athleticism on the interior. That's nice. One thing that always is there for Kelly Oubre, this guy never takes a playoff on the defensive end. He can be a menace to opposing guards. off on the first. Oubre's a player who can just hound another guard, Doris. Yeah, aggressive with his pickup points. Sometimes can overplay for a steal, but overall a headache for backcourts to deal with. Book night. He's checked in for Jones. He hits the second from the line. Now remember, you know, he grew up in New Orleans, but Kelly Oubre had to move to Texas after Hurricane Katrina. Some tough times that he said put a little bit of a chip on his shoulder to this day. Wow! Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big-time play. Thompson. And he can't bank that one in. Boy, a miss like that will drive any scorer crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Charlotte has gone 2 of 5 from beyond the arc in the first quarter. And so ball out of bounds. Thompson touched it last. The Raptors have got 6 of 14 in so far. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Schroeder. To the left side wing. Three-pointer. Book night doesn't go that time. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Last time they came together was in Charlotte, where they fell to the Hornets. This time around, they're looking for better execution offensively. They have to avoid mistakes. Well, so many of their problems stem from turnovers. They simply could not take care of the ball, and it cost them in that matchup. Timeout called. The Raptors. 
Well, Grant, he hails from Germany. Dennis Schroeder, one of the fastest guys in the league. He is a blur when he's on his game. And also, let's not forget, I mean, he played three years professionally in his native Germany before coming to the association, and he has never looked back. Now here's Valanciunas. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Hawks in Atlanta. Boy, that play developed just the way they wanted, and Valanciunas made sure they got the bucket. What a tremendous pass. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Oubre. On the wing, Thompson. Outside Schroeder. Five to shoot. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. And it's Thompson that time on the assist from Schroeder. Thompson's got six points. Well, this is the confidence of Clay Thompson. When he's out there, he is ready to fire on the catch. To the inside. Right side, Hart. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Charlotte has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Valanciunas against Schroeder. Raptors foul. Josh Hart. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Charlotte. Well, guys, they are dialed in from long range already. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there. They've shown some real tenacity on the boards, and it's turned into a lot of second-chance points. And he drops the first. One thing Dennis Schroeder has proven is that he can be an effective player whether he's starting or coming off the bench. This is a versatile guard, and maybe his best attribute, confidence. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Toronto trailing. Covered by Schroeder. Pass to Valanciunas. Two minutes left in the first. A minute 58 left in the opening quarter. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. Here's Book Knight. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Utah. Takes it inside. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. That's how you want to see them crash to glass. They've been out-hustled so far. Schroeder against Bay. Schroeder into the lane. And the powerful one-handed slam. And this is Schroeder's game, right? Get off the dribble drive with a quick first step. Nice. Pass to Bay. Now here's Ananobi. Now Valanciunas. Defended by Thompson from six feet away. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Hornets with a lead. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. Now here's Schroeder. Coming in off a 14-point game last time out. Yep, that one goes. And I'm just impressed with their effort here early. They've hit the offensive glass so hard. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's Book Knight. He's covered by Hart. Here's Book Knight. Over Hart. Can hit it from 12 feet. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. And don't go far. We'll be right back.
you're just joining us. We played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen from the Hornets, what's your take so far? Well, it's pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, the defense hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second chance opportunities. Toronto shooting about 43% in this one. Barnes is out there with Jonas Valanciunas. Then it's OG Ananobi. Then it's Josh Hart. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Now here's Hart. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. James Book Knight's Booker. shot is good. Boy, Otto Porter with the pretty delivery. That's nice. Left side, Barnes. Up and over Porter. Barnes, no good. Charlotte's gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Count it. Good. And now it's a 12-point Hornet lead. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Outside Ananobi. And he gets the bucket. What you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. Now here's Porter. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Utah. Here's Booknight. He's covered by Hart. Uses the glass on the layup. Booknight's got five points now this quarter. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Valentunas. Shoots over Thompson. And too long on the shot. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. The ball's knocked loose. Porter with the steal. Down low. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. And again, no good by Toronto. Here's Charlotte. Big run right now for him. 11-2. Hard against Oubre. Fades and shoots. Here's the second effort. And he lays it up and in. Six points for him. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. And the Raptors call time here. Well, Grant, does it seem like teams are carrying fewer specialists than they used to? You know, B.A., I actually think there's more specialists. I mean, think about it. You have certain players who can do everything, who are versatile, who can carry a team. But then you surround them and complement them with guys who can knock down open jump shots. So I actually think you have more specialists, a lot of them being shooters, who can space the floor for their ball club. Najee, he's checked in for Toronto. Trent comes in for Hart. Shot clock at six. Puts it up from 15. Jones grabs the board. Jones has got rebound number eight here already in the game. To the paint. Order the pass to Rozier. Here's Horton Tucker. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Ball no good. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. The offensive rebound. Here's Najee. No good, and they can't put it into the drought. For Charlotte, they've gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second. Looking good, and Ball gets it to go. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And the Raptors call time here. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, night in and night out. Sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most?
Porter with the steal. Pass to Horton Tucker. Rozier with it. Ball with it. Here's Horton Tucker, guarded by Trent. Down to five on the shot clock. Now here's Jones. And the dunk to finish it off. Oh, beauty. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride and makes it look easy. Outside Ananobi. Pass to Trent. Now Barnes. Picked it out of midair. Porter against Barnes. Here's Horton Tucker. And here's Rozier. Toronto grabs the miss. Barnes has got four rebounds now to the inside. And again, another missed shot. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. They retain possession. Horton Tucker on the wing. Goes back up. That shot, no good. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Trent outside. Misses the three. The Hornets have gone 8 of 15 in the second. Pass to Porter. The shot, no good. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. And after this one, they're at home against Sacramento. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. To the middle. Here's Najee. Good setup. It led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. There's ball with a three. This is the mark there. Just two for ten for the game. I'll say he has looked just a step slow all game, but his teammates, boy, have they come through. And just wasn't Mark able Jones. to set up Side the time. Out. Hey, he's checked in for Toronto. And the Hornets making a change here as well. Schroeder, he's checked in for Rozier. Outside. Here's Najee. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Atlanta. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. Now here's Schroeder. Pass the ball. Looking to get it going. And he lays it in. Ball's got four points this quarter. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Trent from long range. The Hornets pull it in. 22 was their biggest lead. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. That's tipped. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. And here's Bay. 17 points for him. Last game against Atlanta. Can't connect from short range. Inside. Porter in the post. Off target at the rim. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Outside for Bay. Fires from deep. 
On target from range. Hayes got himself on the board with a three there. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. And that's a foul called on OG Ananobi. That's his first foul. The Hornets making a switch here. Checking in for the away team. Here's Horton Tucker. 14 points for him last game against Utah. With three steals in the night, he helped them in a big way. Here's Horton Tucker. It's a 16-point game. And that one's good. Toronto has gone 2 of 5 from deep here in the second. Pass to Najee. Jones with the block. Right side, Schroeder. Jones with the ball. The shot that time, not on target. It's an even three-on-three -three break. To the wing on the left. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Give him eight points now. Charlotte has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Back to Schroeder. Two minutes. We've got 1.55 left in the first half. Out to Thompson. Just five on the clock. And a miss layup. And for the Raptors, they're shooting just around 36%. Not the best execution. Klay Thompson is an all-time great. One of the best shooters, hands down. Key part of the great dynasties in Golden State. And he comes up with a bucket. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Pass to Jones. And he lobs it up to the rim. Out of bounds. bounds. It'll be Toronto's ball. Clay can sometimes get overshadowed by his teammates. But Grant, he's definitely one of the stars in this league. And it seems that Clay doesn't mind that at times he's overlooked. He's all about winning and not worried about press. He's just a great teammate who's easy to play with. Alan Chunas, he's checked in for Toronto. Hart comes in for Trent. Oubre, he's checked in for Charlotte. Book Knight comes in for Schroeder. Now here's Hart. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Two points. That one goes. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his second. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. At the line for the Hornets, number 21. At the line for two. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. Toronto's gone two of five from deep here in the second. Hart passes to Ananobi. The floater. No good there. And Charlotte going the other way now. 22 was their biggest lead. They defeated Utah in their last game. They had a lot of breaks go their way in that game, and hey, they cashed in when they could. Well, you have to capitalize when your opponent has miscues and give this team some credit. Every time that opponent turned it over, they capitalized. Just five to shoot. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Book Knight's got four rebounds in the game. The shot. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. They've been fantastic pushing the ball. Fast break points, a key to this lead. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks, guys. I'm alongside Coach James Borrego. And, Coach, a nice effort so far. What's the key here in the second half, though? 
stay with our defense. That's the key when we have our opportunities to push the pace. But we got to get stops, push it at them, and uh, keep in a rhythm offensively at our point. Defense leads to offense. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. After the first two quarters of play, it's Charlotte in control. They're leading by 16. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? The difference in bench points is staggering. Their second unit came to play tonight. They were aggressive. You got to figure the starters are loving it, seeing how much work their second unit is getting done. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? I know it's not the case, but it seemed like they were lacking on the offensive game plan. Maybe some guys were improvising when they should have been making the next pass, but hey, not looking good out there. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. With the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Here's Barnes. Here's who James Borrego is starting the second half with. Ball and Rozier work together in the backcourt. Taylor Horton Tucker is out there with Otto Porter. And it's Jones in at the center position, filling out the middle. Just great energy on the offensive glass. That's exactly how you cut into a lead. Boy, a slam like that is sure to give him a spark. Now here's Ball. Oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish, that was angry. Pass to Naji. Pounded by Ball. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first. That went on Ball. First team foul. At the line for Toronto. Taking two shots. Two shots. Last on the first. And he knocks down the first one. Hits both from the stripe. Now Rozier. It's stolen by Trent. Porter against Barnes. Tips it. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. He's got six. How about the anticipation and the timing there? He is all over it. Rozier outside to the inside. From the right block, Jones misses. For Toronto, they've got two of four shots to go since the break. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. Trent finds Barnes. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sends shockwaves into the opposition sails. Charlotte has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Pass to Jones. Here's Porter. It's rebounded by Najee. The Raptors shooting just 38% for this game so far. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Rozier with it. And it's Trent picking him up. Outside for Porter. Here's Horton Tucker. 
Looking at his numbers, currently he's averaging around nine points a game. Comes up empty down low. Boy, as slow a start as you can have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. Pass to Barnes. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Barnes has got four points this quarter. Rock the baby. Working the size advantage inside. Short timeout called by Charlotte. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. The loudest and craziest fans get a free t-shirt. Let's see it, fans. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Ball outside. Tries to snap the cold streak. Oh, oh no. a rim-rattling two-handed jam. And just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. And Toronto calls time here. <laughs> With the offense reeling, coach has to get these guys on the same page. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Hook loose. Porter in the post. He's guarded by Barnes. Porter shot is off. For Toronto, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Bay from long range knocks it down from distance. Bay's got six. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Ball passes to Porter. Here's Horton Tucker. Shoots over Bay. Horton Tucker can't hit. Pass to Trent. Six to shoot. Bay outside. Launches it. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. At the line for Toronto. Sadiq Bay at the line for three. He's good on the first of three. Good on the second one. And he nails the third. The Hornets with a lead. Pass to Porter. Rozier outside. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. One thing you can give Terry Rozier credit for are those fast hands. You must keep the ball locked up when he's around. Because he's always hunting for his next steal. And Rozier's quickness as a defender does much more than just create turnovers. Yeah, he's tough to shake off when he's covering Shoot you. Two. I mean, he puts constant pressure on the shooters and doesn't allow them to take comfortable shots. And the first one at the line is good. Hart's checked in for Bay.
And that's good as he hits both shots. Here's Serrano with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Now here's Barnes. He's closely guarded. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. I really like the way he's playing in this half. He looks so much more aggressive and confident. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Charlotte. They haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They've been the aggressors. Yeah, and I think something they've also worked hard at tonight is crashing the boards. The second chance points have been coming in bunches. The Hornets making a switch here. Oubre's checked in. And they've been playing with much greater physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. High arcing shot. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Another score. His fifth make out of ten tries. I'll tell you, you have got to have a short memory. You put a poor first half behind you, and you get to work here in the second. Here's Rozier. And he banks in the layup. Rozier's got four points this quarter. And what I love about Rozier is his fearlessness as a score. Inside, outside, in between, it doesn't matter. Barnes against Porter. Barnes, it's good. Barnes has got 13. After an ice-cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. Ball outside. Toronto grabs the miss. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor, but his teammates have picked up the slack. Shoots from 12. That one's wide left. Charlotte's gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Pass to Porter. It's stolen by Barnes. Uneasy two on the layup. And it's now just a one-point Hornet lead. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Good idea to call timeout. It looked like the guys were getting some heavy legs out there. The Hornets shooting only 30% in the third quarter. Pass to Booknight. Stolen by Valanciunas. Outside Ananobi. For the lead. Now here's Barnes. Three-pointer, Booknight nails it from beyond the arc. He's got 10. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. And out of bounds. Charlotte will have it. Charlotte ball. Charlotte's gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Pass to Jones. Oh, there's the alley! Outside Hart. Lays it up and banks it in. Hart's gotten his second bucket of the game. Here's Book Knight. Ten points for him. Jones with the ball. Left side shooter. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Hornets lead by four. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Pass to Valanciunas. Over Jones. And it's Toronto with another! I like the physicality on that play by Jonas Valanciunas. Simply powers through the contact, showing he can give it as well as take it. Now here's Jones. He's got 14. Down low. Valanciunas with a rebound. Toronto's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. 
Barnes passes to Valanchunas. Shoots over Booknight. Valanchunas can't go. To the middle. Here's Jones. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. It goes on Josh Hart. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. The Raptors making a switch here. Bays checked in. And the Hornets making a change here as well. Thompson's checked in. What's up? Toronto trailing. Covered by Schroeder. Outside Ananobi. Bay outside. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. He's got 12. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Schroeder. And here's Thompson for three. And no good. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. On the wing, Bay. Defended by Thompson. Here's Ananobi. That one a little long. Charlotte has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Schroeder finds Thompson. Shoots over Bay. And that one's good. Thompson. Thompson's got eight points. This is the craftiness of Clay Thompson. Sometimes, boy, off the dribble drive, you better look out. Outside Hart. The three is up. And the Raptors, another three. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Schroeder with it. He's got six. Here's Thompson. Oh, nice D from Ananobi. Toronto has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Oh, it misses. Had a chance to tie it. Fires the three. Oubre can't hit. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Driving to the basket. Schroeder with a rebound. The Hornets with a lead. Here's Booknight, and that one falls. James His fifth Booknight. basket in seven tries. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Now here's Hart. He has seven. The teardrop. Now in Tunis, Clay Thompson pulls down the board. Thompson's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Oubre. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It goes on Josh Hart. With Kelly Oubre, you know this guy's going to be in attack mode. Contact or no, this guy's going to be aggressive. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. So both teams making some changes here. And he makes both free throws. There's a minute 12 left in the third. Covered by Schroeder. Bay outside. From behind the arc. It's rebounded by Charlotte. 22 was their biggest lead. Oubre passes to Schroeder. Oubre against Valanchunas. And Oubre gets it to go. Well, how about the length and athletic ability of Kelly Oubre Jr.? Go ahead in there. Throws it up high. Imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. 
Outside Schroeder. Oubre passes to Zubat. Stolen by Valanciunas. He's guarded by Zubat. To the paint. Cole and makes it with the kiss. And now it's just a four-point Hornet lead. Well, Jonas Valanciunas showing good hands and finishing ability inside. And this guy on that end of the floor has always been effective. And we've reached the end of the third. It's the Hornets leading by four. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. Well, this is exactly what you're looking for from your point guard. Survey the floor, serve it up on time and on target. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Sadiq Bey out there with OG Ananobi. Then there's Gary Trent, and it's Naji in at the five. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Fox, that's good. Fox has got his first two points of the night. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. Trent against Thompson. And Trent the bucket on the assist from Ananobi. Oh, oh just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Here's Horton Tucker. And Bay pulls it down. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Clock at six. Ananobi on the wing. The Raptors need to get off a shot. Bay, no good. Here's Charlotte now. They lead by four. Back to Porter. And they'll get another chance. Big rebound and a smart play to kick it right out. They want to use as much time as possible here. Pass to Naji. Shot clock at six. Bay with it. The three is up. Hornets with the rebound. Thompson's got rebound number seven tonight. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Toronto grabs the miss. Outside Ananobi. Outside for Bay. From the arc. Sinks it from distance. That's his third triple of the night. His second since halftime. The Hornets have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Fox outside. Pass to Book Knight. To end the drought. It's hauled in by the Raptors. And Anobi's got four rebounds in the game. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Here's Naji. And they take the lead. And after getting smoked earlier in this game, they battled back to take the lead. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Raptors. When they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game, they've taken it. Now, the other thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint. Plenty of their points coming from close range. Barnes, he's checked in for Ananobi.
and they've been so much more aggressive drawing the whistle here in the second half. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. They're looking to do something to stop this run. They have to get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what James Borrego was saying to his team. He told them, we've got to protect the rim with everything we've got. If we cut down on their easy looks inside, we've got them. It might mean more room for their perimeter shooters, but that's a trade-off he's willing to risk. All right, back to you guys. Allie, thank you. Outside Barnes. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got a rebound number five here tonight. To stop the run. And it's Jones getting it to go. Jones has got nine points now in the second half. Listen, this guy's a willing passer, and Porter has a natural instinct for this game. Here's Barnes. Jones with the block. Out of bounds as Toronto keeps possession. Bay passes to Trent. Pass to Najee. Six on the shot clock. Here's Barnes. Well, so disruptive. Otto Porter making that a difficult shot. Barnes, no good. Inside, here's Horton Tucker. And Bay pulls it down. The Raptors have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Porter against Trent. Oh, the teardrop falls in. And the Raptors lead by two. And their offense has been much tighter since halftime. Guys are starting to work together, moving the ball around, getting good shots. Ogier against Trent. Takes a 13-footer. And then Porter with the dunk. You know, I really like this. Instead of putting his head down, Terry Rozier keeping his eyes up and finding his open teammate. Here's Barnes. The shot misses. And Charlotte going the other way now. Porter finds ball. On the wing, Rozier. Driving inside. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. The Raptors have gone four for ten in the fourth to the middle. Outside for Bay. Here's the three. And Rozier pulls it down. Rozier's got four rebounds in the game. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his second. Love the mentality from Porter. He gets inside and goes right at the defender. At the line for the Hornets, Otto Porter. At the line for two. as the free throw drops in for him. You guys look at a guy like Otto Porter, and it seems like he's coming into his own in this league. He scuffled a bit, certainly, in his first season, but a key piece for this group moving forward. Porter hits them both. Toronto's got one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Bay outside. Trent, the pass to Barnes. Pounded by ball. Back to Barnes. Pass to Najee. Gets rebounded by Charlotte. And here's Porter outside. Nails it from three. And here in the fourth, he's been zeroed in, hitting some big-time buckets. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Pounded 
rebounded by Ball. Looking to win the run. And that's going to be a travel. Charlotte Ball. Charlotte's gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. To the inside, Jones. Yes, sir, and it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got his third assist of the night. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job. Oh, okay, then. Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. Here's Rozier, and the layup is good off the glass. And the Hornets lead by seven. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Porter against Barnes. Tries again. And the layup is good. Great game for him. Double-double now. And you can tell by how hard he battled for that putback that he still has a lot of energy left for the end of this game. And doing that kind of dirty work down low makes a huge difference in a game this close. What a play on the offensive glass. There's Ball with a three. It's rebounded by Najee. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Pass to Barnes. And there's the call on the mellow ball. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Trent outside. Barnes against Porter. And the layup falls. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. Down low. Here's Jones. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Jones has got six points in the quarter. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Ball with a steal. To the middle. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. Rozier outside. Five to shoot. And he's going for the oop here. Hammers the lob through. Well, the evolution of Scary Terry as a creator for others. Really nice ball movement there. Here's Barnes. Banked it in off the glass. Barnes has got 21 points in the game. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Here's Porter. Barnes with the rebound. Toronto has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Here's Najee. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free-throw line. That's his third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Raptors. Zeke Najee. Two shots. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Come on. 
That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that shrinks the margin to just four. Just a tough miss at the line. They're down two baskets now. Here's Ball. Softly drops in the floater. The floater can be a tricky shot, but that's the right choice. Barnes against Porter. Trent outside. And that one hits the back iron. Charlotte has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. And it's ball off the drive. Soft touch off the glass. And it's an eight-point Charlotte lead. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Here's Barnes. Sinks that one from the post. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Rozier can't get it to go. And looking for a quick bucket here. You've got to run a play that's a quick strike. You've got to immediately foul after that. Hey, no good. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Zeke Nagy. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution for the away team. Clay Thompson. And here are the Hornets now. Toronto foul. 22 was their biggest That's lead. And now we've foul. got an intentional foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Hornets. LaMelo Ball taking two shots. Shooting two. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So we get them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. And Toronto calls time here. They're trailing by eight. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what do you think? Now, it's an opportunity for a teaching moment. I'm sure Coach will waste no time making his points. Well, maybe not his time, but this game is certainly finished. Let's get it over with. All right, we present our New Balance player of the game, LaMelo Ball. Yeah, really, the standout element of this game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. I'm telling you, the added pressure of the road really brings out the best in him. You can tell he enjoyed playing so well in front of an unfriendly crowd. And so it's Charlotte winning this one. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. So long, everyone.